Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, the channel that electrifies your knowledge about all things electrical. In today's episode, we're diving deep into a common issue that can leave you hot under the collar. Why is my air conditioner unit tripping a circuit breaker? So, grab your multimeters and let's get to the bottom of it. There are several potential causes for your air conditioner unit tripping a circuit breaker, and today we'll explore them one by one. Let's start with the most common culprit, an overload. When your air conditioner draws too much current, it can overwhelm the circuit and cause the breaker to trip. To diagnose an overload, you can start by checking the amperage rating of your air conditioner unit and comparing it to the circuit breaker's rating. Use a clamp meter to measure the current draw of the air conditioner while it's running. If it exceeds the breaker's rating, it indicates an overload. Solution to solve an overload issue, you have a few options. First, ensure that the air conditioner is the only major appliance connected to the circuit. If other appliances share the same circuit, redistribute the loads to different circuits. You can also upgrade the circuit breaker to a higher amperage rating if the wiring supports it. If the overload persists, it's recommended to consult a professional for further inspection. Next, we have faulty wiring or electrical components. Over time, wear and tear or improper installation can lead to short circuits or ground faults within your air conditioner unit. These electrical issues can trigger the breaker to trip unexpectedly. To diagnose faulty wiring or electrical components, visually inspect the wiring connections, terminals, and electrical components of your air conditioner unit. Look for any signs of frayed or damaged wires, loose connections, or burnt components. You can also use a multimeter to test for continuity and check for voltage irregularities. Solution If you discover faulty wiring or electrical components, it's crucial to call a professional electrician to handle the repairs. They will have the expertise to properly diagnose and safely fix the issues. Attempting to repair electrical wiring or components without proper knowledge and experience can be dangerous. But wait, there's more. Dirty air filters or coils can restrict airflow, forcing the compressor to work harder. This increased strain can result in excessive power consumption, leading to a breaker trip. To diagnose dirty air filters or coils, visually inspect the air filter for dirt and debris. Remove the filter and hold it up to the light. If it appears clogged or dirty, it needs to be cleaned or replaced. Additionally, check the condenser coils, located outside, and evaporator coils, located inside, for dirt buildup. If the coils are covered in dirt or debris, they need to be cleaned. Solution to solve this issue, clean or replace the air filter regularly according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Clean the condenser and evaporator coils using a soft brush or vacuum cleaner. If the coils are severely clogged, you may need to call a professional technician for a thorough cleaning. By maintaining clean filters and coils, you can ensure proper airflow and reduce strain on the compressor. Another possibility is a refrigerant leak or low levels. When your air conditioner lacks sufficient refrigerant, the compressor compensates by drawing more current, potentially causing the breaker to trip. Diagnosing a refrigerant leak or low levels requires professional expertise and specialized equipment. A licensed HVAC technician can perform a pressure test and inspect the system for leaks using a refrigerant leak detector. They will also measure the refrigerant levels to determine if they are within the manufacturer's specified range. Solution If a refrigerant leak is detected, it's important to have a professional HVAC technician repair the leak and recharge the system with the appropriate refrigerant. Refrigerant handling requires specialized knowledge and equipment, so it's best left to the experts. We mustn't forget about compressor issues. A malfunctioning or failing compressor can draw more current than usual, overpowering the circuit and resulting in a breaker trip. Diagnosing compressor issues requires professional expertise. A qualified HVAC technician will inspect the compressor motor and electrical components, test the compressor's electrical readings, and check for mechanical issues such as locked rotors or worn-out bearings. Solution If the compressor is determined to be faulty, it will need to be repaired or replaced by a professional HVAC technician. Attempting to fix a compressor without proper knowledge and equipment can be hazardous and may result in further damage. Of course, let's not overlook the potential for a faulty circuit breaker itself. If the breaker is worn out or has a weak tripping mechanism, it may trip unnecessarily, even with a normal electrical load. To diagnose a faulty circuit breaker, you can visually inspect it for any signs of damage, such as burnt marks or a loose connection. Use a multimeter to test the voltage and continuity of the circuit breaker. If it consistently trips at a lower current than its rated capacity or shows abnormal readings, it indicates a faulty breaker. Solution If you suspect a faulty circuit breaker, it's advisable to consult a professional electrician to replace it. The electrician will ensure that the new breaker is properly installed and meets the electrical requirements of your air conditioner unit. 
Lastly, an overloaded circuit shared with other power-hungry appliances can push the limits of the electrical capacity, leading to breaker trips when your air conditioner kicks in. To diagnose an overloaded circuit, evaluate the electrical loads on the circuit by identifying the appliances sharing it. Add up their power consumption, in watts, and compare it to the circuit's maximum capacity, usually indicated on the circuit breaker. If the total load exceeds the circuit's capacity, it indicates an overload. Solution to address an overloaded circuit, redistribute the electrical loads among different circuits to balance the power consumption. You may need to move some appliances to circuits with lower loads or install dedicated circuits for power-hungry appliances. If the problem persists or you're uncertain about the electrical capacity of your home, consult a professional electrician to assess and make the necessary changes. Remember, safety is paramount when working with electricity. If you're unsure or uncomfortable with any of these tasks, please consult a professional. Your safety is worth every watt. That's a wrap on today's episode of Electricity Frenzy. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be well equipped to tackle the challenge of your air conditioner tripping a circuit breaker. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more electrifying content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, fellow electricity enthusiasts, keep the current flowing and stay charged.